Hello everyone, lovely to be with you again. It is another beautiful day. The sun is so warm. If you haven't yet realised, I'm coming to you this time from the vicarage, uh, sat in the garden enjoying the warmth of the afternoon sun. If you've not been able to get out for your walk, please do so because you will thoroughly enjoy it and I'm sure it will lift your spirits. For all the gardeners out there, uh, get out there, do those borders, sow those seeds, plant those plants and I'm sure that everybody's going to enjoy looking at the gardens a little bit later. With the closure of our churches it is so important that we stay connected to one another for all our communities and may I ask you to keep an eye on all your neighbours, your friends, your family especially, to give them a phone call, drop a note in, Skype, FaceTime. It's so important that we keep connected at this time. I went up to see my mother on Sunday and it was very strange actually handing over the card, the little gift, the flowers through the window not being able to get that close, not being able to give a hug, uh, a kiss. But the one thing we could do was actually blow a kiss to one another. And as many mothers do, her thoughts were more for me <laughs> than me for her. Uh, she kept saying, what do you need? Well, I'm asking everybody to find out what others need. So can you please give your neighbours a ring, especially those who are alone, those who are vulnerable, those who are fearful. We need to be there for one another, to care in the depths of our hearts at the most difficult time. I do also want you and encourage you that if you know somebody in need, somebody who needs that listening here, just someone to chat to on the phone, the Reverend Wendy and myself as a ministry team are here for you and the wardens in the ministry area are also on hand to support. Now my thought for the day in addition is to read a psalm that we all love and it is Psalm 23. Now one of my sung versions is by Stuart Townend and I've been listening to, to him sing this song for uh, quite a time really this morning and as I've listened to it more and more uh, the beautiful words of, of the psalm from David's hand is such a source of encouragement. So let me use this as a source of prayer for you to, to go away with and to reflect on. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Beautiful words by King David. So I want to pray for you and encourage you this day. So you don't need to close your eyes when you pray. So I just pray for, for everyone out there. So Lord, uh, you know the hearts of all your people. You know the concerns of our neighbours, our loved ones. You know what we need. You know what they need. Help us this day to be your hand at work in our communities. For those who are fearful. We pray for your comfort, 
that your angels will be about them and that they will know the peace of God which passes all understanding. Amen. Well, we'll be back with you tomorrow with more little reflections, more updates and more encouragement. Take care, keep safe and be blessed. Know that you are in our prayers. Bye.